We all, it is me, Juan Gui, from One Guy Farm, here with another project. Today I'm going to start on this exterior project. I've spent a lot of time looking at the walls down on the bottom there and on the bottom there. And what I've come to the conclusion, and I'm not sure if it shows up in this camera, I'll try to get her level, but this concrete slab slopes that way and that way towards the house. So basically they designed it to drain straight into the house and it's created 30 years of water running into the house. Today it absolutely poured this morning. It was a big heavy rain. It's a hot humid day here in, uh, at Wangi Farm. One guy farm, sorry. Oops. Uh, anyhow, so I was pondering jacking up the walls, putting, re putting new uh, sill plates under, putting new beams underneath and the fact is is that if i do that the water's still going to keep coming in so i've decided i decided that i was going to probably put a uh, put a shed over this basically running it the roof of it there and attaching it onto that ledger and i was going to do that after i basically fixed the house and what i realized is why don't i just do that now to stop all the rain that's going to keep coming in in the in the near future it looks like it's supposed to rain for another supposed to have some more a lot more rain in the next couple of days so my plan is to build a shed here and it's going to do three things it's going to uh, cover the cover the concrete slab down there so that it uh, it doesn't drain into the house uh, it gives me uh, shelter so I can work underneath here to fix the to level up the house or to come to the decision that the house needs to be torn down and three it's, it'll be a place where I can store wood my firewood for the winter I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put shingles on this and it cost a fair penny for the the wood that I bought for this but it's all basically at 16 foot it's 16 by 12 so there's almost no cutting so all the wood will be usable if I decide to take this off and it saves me from having to jackhammer concrete if I don't have to so that's my plan is to do this and then I'll attach it onto the existing shed there and you can see there's a laser. I don't know if you can see that up there, but there is a laser. And it basically, I don't know if that shows up. I don't think it does, but basically along there, it's about a three and a half inch drop. So there's a fair amount of uh, effort to be done, but I just want to, this will hopefully give it a chance to dry out and not get any more water into the basement, which is right down in that corner is where all the water is basically coming into my basement so it's not it doesn't look like a pool of water obviously there's a whole bunch of wood soaking it up so. but yeah so that's my uh, that's the project this is the decision i've come to so stay tuned from one guy farm today's project yesterday i put up the barge board just temporarily just to place it and get it make sure everything kind of lines up and relatively speaking the house slopes consistently it doesn't have a big hump or anything in it, so which is handy. Uh, and as you can see, there's a tarp there because it started to pour again last night. So I tarped it off. I got a catchment to catch most of the water that comes off of there. So but anyhow, I was up on these sawhorses yesterday, and just to just to start the project. Now today, what I've done is cut myself a whole bunch of my uh, birch, and then I've got myself some Manila rope, and I am going to be making myself some scaffolding, lashing together birch and using manila rope, which is apparently what you're supposed to use. It shrinks and tightens up when it gets wet. So, but yeah, apparently they've been doing, building ships and out of this stuff for years. So I suspect, I suspect it'll probably work. So as you can see here, I've built one end of the scaffolding and it's ain't pretty. That's for darn sure. But first try kind of thing. You can see I've cut down a bunch of uh, birch trees. Don't worry. It hasn't, haven't denuded the property. Um, but yeah, so these are going to be the uh, uprights. These ones here are cross members, and then these are the uh, the diagonals. So and it's lashed on, Boy Scout style. So going to make three of these, and then run some uh, run run some decking across at the top. Make sure I don't fall over. But yeah, so I've been working. I've finally got getting my act together here. Put a barge board up on the top there that connects this to the. That connects my uh, my shed roof to the main house. So there is some rod up there, but it's solid enough that it's going to hold on. 
Uh, I've got two rafters, one on each end, and that's basically to set it up as if you, I don't know if you can tell, but it slopes up this way, or sorry, it slopes down this way as this is sunk more. Um, and these three posts kind of mirror that, the whole house basically, so that when I jack up the house, that'll jack up, it'll be higher on this, it'll jack up higher on this end. Then I, these things are only sitting on concrete piers. They are going to be attached to the house and to the, the concrete platform, but I didn't want to put them on the platform just in case I decide to, sorry, concrete floor. I didn't want to put them on the concrete floor just in case I have to take the concrete floor out or if it cracks and slumps because I'm going to fill this with uh, firewood this winter. So uh, I just didn't want it to, I wanted to, my band-aid to not be dependent on the, on the floor staying where it is. So yeah, the rafters, I'm going to throw the rafters in. There's going to be a, a board that runs across these three posts here. Uh, sorry, two two by eights stuck together, and you can see there's a notch cut out there. And there's a notch cut out up there as well. So that's where it's going to lie under. This has been kind of a, a ass backwards way of doing it, but I, there's no other way to do it. I don't. Well, I'm sure there's some other way to do it. I just didn't come up with one. And this is my bamboo, or sorry, not bamboo, birch scaffolding. So. The, uh, it's worked really well, amazingly well. I, I, I didn't think, I wasn't sure it was going to work as well as it did. Works fantastic. But I have lots of birch trees. I'm going to cut the straightest ones from now on. Screw these bendy, curvy ones. That just makes a mess out of it. So. Moving along. You can really see the slope, I believe, now from that angle. <laughs> Much more obvious. So, and again, once I lift up the house, these three posts are able to be disconnected, lifted, and then I can re-support it. So, next is the plywood, or sorry, OSB on top. So, I'm gonna go have a drink of water. It's a hot day. But I want to get the roof on today because it's supposed to be a tropical storm tomorrow. Isaias, I believe they've called this one. So it's supposed to bring wind and a lot of rain. So just in the nick of time. But I'm a happy, happy boy today. Something's actually, actually happening, Reg. So some progress has happened. Why do I always start these with so? I think I'll start this with fa, ah, a long, long way to run. So this is how it's going so far. Got the roof on, got the barge board on the front. As you can see, yes, it is sloped, but once I jack up the house, it'll move up. This end here is gonna be fixed. That's what's holding the house up now, I hope. <laughs> and there's my scaffolding, so. Next thing, I gotta build another set of scaffolding to go up there, because I gotta fix that upper level there where the uh, where the flashing's missing and where there's a few things that need to be done. So I made a second section of scaffolding there up on top of the roof that I've now built. And today's project is to deal with the edge there that needs to be some flashing put on, some soffit. Basically just cleaning it up, making sure water and animals aren't getting into my attic. Now it's just tear down my scaffolding that I spent way more time setting up and building than I spent actually working up there. 
That's the next step. So, she's done. At long last. And I couldn't find the... Uh, I didn't have enough siding. So I ended up buying some other stuff. And I think it perfectly color matches. Let me know in the comments if, if you can tell where the, uh, where, the, where the new siding is. As compared to the old. So, there's a few other nooks it bits and bobs jesus i'm so tired from doing this stuff being out in the heat all day i can't even speak there's bits and bobs to clean up but uh waiting for a rain to see if i did it all right i'm pretty sure i did so cross your fingers with me so i got this roofed off it's got all sorts of step flashings up the side so that water kind of steps down and it's layered and jammed underneath the ripped up or cut flashing all the way along but and then where the nails went through on that last row it's obviously all tarred but i think it's going to be watertight well still gotta put some uh, tyvek on there and finish that corner but yeah 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 we hello it is me juan Gui from one guy farm here on my roof on my shed that is basically finished. It's a bit bright today, but it's been a while since I've been back on been on YouTube. But I've been dealing with this project and hot days, 30 plus days with humidity, lots of humidity, and then thunderstorms and lightning and stop, start, stop, start. But I have myself a fairly solid roof. I've basically taken there used to be a a uh, I don't know, the edge of, edge of some kind of deck. There was a clothesline that ran across over to that power pole. Taking that out, shuffled around the uh, metal roof that was there. So they had enough pieces, they just didn't cut them to fit. So, And there's still a bit of, bit of bits and bobs to finish up here. So, But yeah, this took a lot longer than I thought it would. Mainly because of the weather. <laughs> so... But yeah, so she looks, I'm pretty happy with it, and it's rained on it, and I haven't found a drop inside, so it looks like my house is not getting rain inside the house anymore, so. Uh, there's some other little bits here and there around the house, but that's, uh, that's about it for this project. Thank fucking God. Ciao for now.